All right, Colony. It's been a long time coming. It's, it's been a little while since I recorded a little video. It seems like it's been forever, y'all. I did get a bag, y'all. I'm feeling a little bit nice. But uh, I was going to bring y'all a video of Wilmington, Delaware. I heard about it the other day, and I thought it was a nice place my whole life. It sounds nice, like Wilmington. You know what I mean? It's like Burlington a little bit. But I, no, it's not nice, apparently. And I might bring y'all that video. If I could find something on it. It's hard to find videos on this place. It's like no one exists there. Today, we go and check out some Philadelphia. Apparently, it's the murder capital of, the, of America. Nobody ever knew. They just thought that they were high. Of America, y'all. So it was like, it was something, but then it was nothing. I've never heard about like, this, though. everybody knows it's like, like, I know it gets treacherous, but like, so of like, America? Is, like, yeah, naturally. I feel like Chicago works. Like, I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna go to jail for Nah, this clip made for sure, y'all. Being in this not that real now. It's, yeah, it's so many oh, more places that's worse. You see what's over my shoulder, though. That. It's not, you don't wanna look over the shoulder the wrong way. Every time I hop up on the beat, seem like a murder happened. My Blasting, hit hard like them crack addicts. Bad things happen, and that do me dirty. Ask them if you can ask them, they probably in shirts because blast them. Oh, hey, it's tragic because it's grown. Oh, crap. People that kill me don't have nothing to do tomorrow. They're the most dangerous people in the world. In, in essence, bro, when you're in public spaces, you almost put civilians around you at risk. It's like it ain't safe for us or the. That's it. Right? Like, we got on gamble, bro. We gamble every day, bro. Every day. Street, every day. dirty, nasty, maniacal, diabolical. Shit. Killings, drug dealings, gorillas. You know what's going on. Going bro, down. Drill music is good for society. It got its pros and its cons, though. It got its pros and its cons. But I feel like it's bad more than it's I'm good. I'm a South though. Philly no matter where I go. Every day I leave the crib, make sure I got my pole. Every day I leave the crib and make my pocket swole. Every day I'm on my J.O. Hey, that's just how I go. I put my runners on a mission for that pot of gold. Graduated out the trenches, I made honor roll. I've been running up that right, banky no, no, just no, like I'm supposed. Handy. Not just nothing fun in the streets. He just need a beat. But it's a lot of space in jail. You feel me? Yo, bro, how are you? Uh, crime. And what's the name? You missed the disrespect for Uncle. Who you with? That whole disrespect. This is my interview with YBC Duel. Duel was murdered weeks after this interview. This was one of his last public interviews. It's a heartbreaking situation all around for both Duel's people and the streets of Philly. Yet another life was taken in the streets. When you're watching these documentaries, remember one thing that's for certain, that these are real situations and real consequences of the streets. Rest in peace to Duel. How'd you get the real, names, bro? It's not, it's not you need to get that real. Shh, I really be disrespected. Like, it's just three for so. And do it. Disrespect. Where are we? Yeah, it's crazy because right I just now, heard about we bro. Philly, we in the trenches right now. And then, like, not know, long after, I'm talking about gutter, a gutter right yeah. now. After I heard it's about so him, names, my cousin so told me about blocks, so A lot of dead ops. This, that music, you hop in that car and go kill them too. too. Sometimes I forget oh, I'm a superstar. I go on drills too. And where are we at the moment, bro? We in the dirtiest, the nastiest, the triplest place in the world. I made a video on it. I think it was the Brandon Buckingham video. He got shot awful? too. Uh, nothing. Which is crazy. At all. Not sure in his That's situation in Chicago. That's all we know for is the school. I got. And I got that. Within the streets, what's it known for? Street, dirty, nasty, maniacal, diabolical, shit. killings, drug dealings, gorillas. You know what's going on out here. Stop playing. Why is gorillas. It's just like I can't even explain to you why. It's just a bunch of guttery <laughs> on one side. We just want to get. The it's like the same going on, like drug trafficking, getting shot, robberies, like everything, how everything goes, you know what I'm saying? What a eight out of 10 of you in some shit, you feel what I'm saying? Like, if you in some shit, of course you always gotta be on 10, like, you know, like, but. I'm not gonna lie, this looks a lot much, much more treacherous than anywhere I've been so far in Philly. Damn. Yeah, that's real. Wait, what Strawberry they? Mansion. Strawberry Mansion, day, okay. You feel me? This shit this shit always been treacherous. Like, I'm like, man, I, this shit always been treacherous. To be honest, to yeah, be ever honest, since I've ever heard about that place, it's always to. been treacherous. He ain't like, you safe right now, you with me, boy. So, I mean, it's that gutter right now. It just depends on who you know, bro. Yeah. That's all it is, bro. Like, well, if, you want, if you want some regular chill shit. Yeah, if you want some cool shit, though, bro, like, don't be on no, bro. We ain't on there in Philly. Like, we really got ops. We do the niggas that need done to him like
In the year of 2021, I read a statistic there was 501 murders, bro. Yeah. That's like a murder every 18 hours. Yeah. What, what, why, what happened that year? <laughs> like what happened yeah. in that year, you said 2021, right? It was that pandemic <laughs> Yeah, it was that pandemic <laughs> and it's like I have to say, that's kind of true, though. There's a lot of yeah, too too much might go to time. California. Was it just wild on the streets of Philadelphia? Yeah. Had money, they got. They had got. But better, I would say, for them, guns it, that, that seems so to be like, the case for me. With that checks, there's buying guns. Yeah. Like if you ain't into anything, people. You yeah, ain't really got. Like, once you got money, that you can much buy to worry about. You Maybe want. like a straight bullet or something, but like. So in hindsight, a place like, like California, where you got, got gangs done, yeah. everywhere and stuff, bro. The, if you the, walk the, out the, with the wrong color, they murder like nationwide. Ain't even a part of nothing. You understand? Yeah. Around that time, it was like had so much more money, and it was. Ran up on guns, you feel me? Ammo, that man, all that after the checks came out, you already know, like, that switches, you feel me? Like, all type of new, you feel what I'm saying? It was never no switches until 2021, you feel me? That's but, crazy, bro. Yeah, but, um, like, I switches shit definitely the went up, up because everybody was hungry. I feel like, I feel like everybody was hungry. Everybody wanted to eat and at the end of the day, start beefing. You feel me? That's just how it ends. You right, bro? How are you? Dress on point, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. you. I'm good, bro. What's the name? My boy Skrilla. Skrilla. Nice to meet you, Skrilla. Yeah, it's me. And where are we? Skrilla, not so we much. We in the trenches. We in Zombie Land. Zombie Land. Kensington. Skrilla's an odd one, y'all. No, Kensington. I just heard about him the other day, too. Man. Regular. It's regular. This to be nothing, honest, though. I kind of like Skrilla. Oh, I don't like really like his meat, but me. Skrilla from he's, he's interesting yeah. to watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this is his territories, zombies, lands. Yeah, can that thing go crazy? I'm here at the moment interviewing Skrilla um, in Kensington Ave. We're going to find out what his life's like and what it's really like living in the trenches. Skrilla, at the moment in your you life, know how this you man is getting in contact with these people. Like, y'all, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, this is a I'm UK. Here, though. I got eyes uh, behind Arab me right now. Man. Like, I'm straight. When I'm down this, though, I'm straight. Though. I got how you get to Kensington with Skrilla? Is it like certain parts of Philly? If you was, your head would have to be on a swivel at all times. Yeah, kind of everywhere, though. Everywhere in Philly, though. But this home base, though, I still got to be on the show. I'm about to start up some recording stuff. I'm about to go start interviewing people, y'all. But, like, I got to give me a pass, like, bro, bro. Probably, like, I jumped off the porch, like, 13, 14, like, 14, like, 14. I jumped off the porch. like that, y'all. But, like, I really, really jumped off the porch, like, like, 15, 16, like, 16, like, 16. And I get, what, how did your parents feel about it? Because I was a 16 year old, bro. No one wants their son jumping out the porch. I ain't gonna lie, my parents ain't f with that, sh though. Like, I was strong. I'm on some scattered, sh cause, cause I used to play ball. Like, I did a lot of little, sh though. As a young boy, I did, like, a lot of, like, that a lot of sh didn't do, though. Like, I, I didn't went to good schools. I didn't play ball. I didn't play football. I didn't play every sport. And then why get into the streets where like, you've got all that going on? Because I wanted money when I was a young boy. I wanted money and I like I, the music I listened to and this shit was glorified though. Like this is like, this is like what I wanted to be. Like I'm what I wanted to be. So yeah, tell me about your life then though. So what well, was your I life like happy in now. He's an artist. I ain't gonna lie, growing up, me he got real, shot real, with like, Brandon Buckingham too. That's sure, he got like, shot with him. That's cool. revelations, y'all. Sure I ain't gonna lie, I had like a like a rough experience growing up. I ain't never really had too much, like feel me. When you say rough experience, tell me more. Like I don't know, bro. Like the typical Philly, like play sports, had one parent household, and. Like, I can't, bro, this just so it's normal, bro. Like, like yeah, it's like the look, typical look, stereotype. Bro, I can't even, like, tell him, like, bro, my, like, like, shoot, like, growing up, feel me? Like, I ain't gonna lie, we all was up, feel me? Some yeah, I probably was the worst. Shit, I probably like, was, like, out of all my homies, though, like, growing up, bro, I ain't gonna say I was the worst, though, because it was for that sure that was in more yeah. fucked up predicaments than me, but like, I was <laughs> one of the ones, sure. like, yeah, like, you was gotta. Like, out of all my homies, though, like, I was one of the ones. I was up. So, bro, what's the name? I'm FS the Bender, if y'all know. 
Yeah. I'm where are we now? We we in the gutter. We in the, you in a real historical place. And when you say the gutter, what part of Philadelphia is that? We in North Philadelphia. North Philadelphia. Yes, sir. And what's that known for? The murder we rise. What age did you jump off the porch? I jumped off the porch when I did my first robbery. I want to say I was I was 15 years old when I did my first robbery. What was the circumstances? I was up. I ain't had nothing but a gun, and I was tired of the like I was running. I was young, so I had a different mindset. I felt like people didn't deserve that they had, and that's not my place because that's what people want. So I used to feel like. I'm gonna take that shit because I feel like I deserve the word to do. That. But that's what a motherfucker worked for. I just, I had a fuck that way of thinking. And I guess what, where did that change that, 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 that My process? first time being forced to sit in jail when I couldn't, I couldn't build hey, on that one. Call my mom and my folks. I couldn't call nobody. Chat, what's going on? Because it was kind of like people what's was telling me the right, right way to go and the right shit to do, but I kept going against Is it. I kept touching the fire Jesus? and burning my hand because I wanted to see if it was really hot. So by the time I got in situations where I needed people, I was kind of. Up. I wasn't fucked up, but I was fucked up because nobody wanted to. Really you know what I'm mad confused so, right now. Like. I just had to sit back and learn and become a man and just know like everything ain't gonna go your way and nothing is nothing is nothing is given to you. Is it the cops or the weed? It. Which one I'm is doing this? I'm in the with killers. You can catch us serving all the dots. Ain't worrying about no bitches. Whatever you need, you know we got to slide on the block. No, we ain't worrying about no wop. you all out here to wop. You know what I'm niggas. finding crazy, bro? I feel like people in these hoods are almost desensitized to murder. It's none. It's like, oh, no, it's, it's like sad to say, but it's like normal. It's like, normal. Yeah. It's it's like it got normalized to it. Like, it's like, it's nothing. It's like, it's, it's really normal, especially when we're in the church. Or you, you come on a little church, like, we should do this for the kids or the people on the block, like, just to keep certain things safe, because at the end of the day, it's, it's what it's it's we can really thing. control, we can control this shit down here. It's so f***ed up, you can't used to murder, so it was like, it was something, but now it was nothing. It's like, now everybody knows, it's like, you're gonna die regardless, so it's like, murder is just like, yeah, natural. I hear the word, murder spoken about in this environment, like, yeah. it's common. Yeah, it's bro. All you gotta do is download the Citizens app, bro. Right now. Like, you right, now. Like, right, right now. Somebody probably dying. Right now. 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 Right now he get into some Y'all get that cheese thing and come and feel me I was saying you got, When you come to film you gotta get a cheese stick It's fantastic, it's phenomenal it got its pros and its cons though It got its pros and its cons to, like, It's good those for two if plays? You, Pats and some Gino's people make it out with this though Like a lot of people make it out with this A lot of people make they self something like a, a, a job and like they get themselves something to do. But it, it's, it got a pros and its cons though. It got its pros and its cons. I'm but sorry. I feel like it's bad more than it's good though. You can drill at the impact. Yeah. 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 I ain't that from Fuck started man, back bro. in 2012 from Chief Keef and when he started dropping music, that shit influenced Philly a little bit. I yeah, ain't gonna lie. That shit influenced the fucking yeah, world. Yeah, that shit influenced the world, world like, bro. Like our generation was the last generation of like going to high school and still worrying about fist fights. Like yeah. now, bro, you gotta go to school with a pipe. If not, bro, you're getting cooked. Bro, shit. You're getting I'm cooked. I'm kill. I'm trying to stretch a two, three. You're playboy. getting cooked. I'm gonna stretch um, a 20 grand on a head. That's the next victim. My bitch got a nice ass and she walked different. Bro most wanted, so he not coming. Get down or lay down. We got the P jumping. Corvette, yak all fast. They can't see nothing. Broke boy, you ain't got a life. You ain't going to be nothing. I'm, too, I'm not going to lie. Change. The yeah. camera yeah. angles on that was From my weird. It's very aggressive. Yeah. But again, being yeah, a Muslim. The, the cameraman for this guy is not a Surely music. can't go hand in hand. I understand being music, in the streets. But then, for sure. when you have the ability to speak about it, and you're speaking aggressive, it almost, I guess, contradicts the the religion. Yeah, I was about to say, because actually being a Muslim, we're not supposed to make music exactly, at all. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, we're not supposed to make music at all, so it's just like... Yeah, okay, yes. Yeah, everybody speak on it. Let me hear about it. You, you just Would you ever consider changing the style of your lyrics? Huh? Did you ever consider changing the, the aggressive style that you have? 
It's like, actually, Keith, it's like it. once I get in the doors, yeah, like I, 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 I'll be willing like to change my whole, my whole image. But you know what it is, Steve? Like, I think it's good that obviously you, I can see you're a very genuine and, and black and white person, yeah. Uh -huh. But I feel like it's all good telling the next generation, don't do what you did. Yeah. But, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but when you're saying that stuff in your music, I feel like that hits ten times harder than this interview ever will. No, yeah. No, you, no, you're right. So, it's like I only see this in my music because it's like entertainment. That's what, the it's like that's what they be wanting to hear. Just trying to but comprehend. Like, that's how the hell is this man from the UK ended up here? Views is hearing yeah. murder, murder. I'm trying to like, yeah, to like, that's what on the same thing, hear. bro. But like as you said, like with the kids, it's like I I tell them that shit because I tell them like kind of like Speedy Gonzalez. Like, was too. telling me, I ain't listen. I ain't think. I thought they were just like talking. Like we really like be thinking motherfuckers just be talking. These just gonna be talking. They be telling us the truth, like like with the street shit. Like stay out the streets. Like, if I had a chance to sit out the streets, I really wouldn't be in the streets. I wouldn't even be rapping about this dumb ass if I ain't getting the streets. That's wise, bro. Yeah. Like the streets, the streets the reason why I'm rapping like this. And bro, do you think drill music's good for society? Would you say it's bad? No. I mean, no. Nothing that we listen to be good, but you feel me? Of course, drill music ain't gonna be good for real, for real, for the, for the that's like, Dumb as hell to actually like, you know what I'm saying, go out here and do this shit. like I don't want to go out here doing the shit that I listen to and it's drill music shit. You feel me? Like See, that's I want the right there. The same way a motherfucker might play GTA, rap, you feel me? And, and go back outside and live a normal life. You feel me? I, I want it to be like that with the music, but <laughs> do get influenced by the music. You feel me? Crazy. <laughs> Alpha paper, that's the motto. Alpha paper, we the mob. Get it any way you cannot be broke when you Die. I was in a trap making that bubble telling granny lies. She asked us, was that resident? See, then right, we started so getting butterflies. Suit and tie, buy a white you for you, so the skies. Yo, bitch, got that sweet pussy and that's where it applies. Fuck fame, dropping soon and watch these numbers multiply. Looking at me froggy eye, looking like you want pray to God. Every yeah, time I hop on so the beat, seem like a murder happen. My <laughs> blasting, hit hard like them crack addicts. Bad things happen and <laughs> that do me dirty, ask them. If you can ask them, they probably in shirts because Blast them. Oh, hey, it's tragic because it's grown folk business. I remember all them nights that we was graveyard shifting. We was all about a dollar trying to ball Scott Pippen. We was making all the noise, but y'all was sounding like crickets. I'm like looking at my check. past now, wondering where I'm going to. Cop is keeping tags on the that never f with you. Claiming they never okay. rap until they dumb. comfortable before five is functional. Attitudes <laughs> is adjustable. Pussy. If you saw a loved one get shot and murdered, yeah, and the police like said to you, and you witnessed it happen, and the police said, if you tell us who did it, they'll go to prison forever. Uh, that shit not even, don't even ask me that question. That shit out, that shit out. That shit out, that's but, a no-go. But you know why I asked that, bro? Because I think civilians find that mind-blowing. Like, for everyone, 95% like of people, when they hear me ask that question, I often get that response. Yeah. And, and people are mind-blown, bro. Can you see why they would be? Kinda, yeah, nah. Because nah. if someone shot my mum, bro, like, I guess I'd want justice. And in my eyes, justice would be that the fact that he never goes home again. That's not weird. We don't, that's not justice to us, though. Like, we don't want that, though. We want that. We want, yeah, though. Like, we want we want blood, for real. We want blood. Oh, yeah. Julia, I should pray for you, man, that you say that. Because it's like, the dead <laughs> person like, What the hell are you talking about? Go to jail. They took my folks' life. Somebody killed my mom. Were the consequences going big? And if anyone in the top, these cops are already taking our lives. You feel me? Oh, that's that long for the camera. Bro, listen, I ain't gonna lie to you. You walk in with us, bro, you ain't never had nothing to worry about. Never. Like, I'm talking about never. If these cops really out here killing anybody, any and everybody, and you're not taking that point, we stand on purpose as a family, as a whole. Bro, I got a bro. situation that happened to me, that exact situation. I just seen my aunt and walked up and seen that's my homie. Never ever would I ever turn them over to the law, bro. Never. No, what is that going to do, bro? Well, after they go to prison there, and you knew that would happen, would you, knowing that would happen, would you still, would you then do it? It's to the point, bro, I ain't going to lie to you, bro. It's to the point where, like, bro, it's to the point where, like, bro, on some real shit, bro, if something like that happened, bro, we killing you, right? Exactly. And if, and if we don't get to get you before the cops before get you, bro, when you in jail, bro, bro like, is going to get yeah, you, you know in jail. Shit, this shit don't stop, bro. You feel me? This shit don't stop. Like, the world don't have in, like, this shit still to like while we out here having our freedom, it's the other side of the jail world. Yeah. Right now, bro, I'm about to show you, bro. This shit is real, bro. I can show you right now, bro. No, yeah. bro. This shit just happened three hours ago, bro. No, 
Stabbing him in front of the guards and everything. He's stabbing him. Yes. Right now, bro. bro. This Philly, bro. This shit don't stop. That shit. Yeah, yeah. Pokemon. They call that shit the Pokemon. Pokemon. We got caught in the streets. That's why we got caught in the streets. You know the rules that you abide by. You know you can never do no shit like that. Yo. Pokemon is crazy. I've been shot. I've been shot four times. Pokemon. Four times. I turned them down every time. And you knew who it was? Yes, turned them down every time. That's mind blowing, bro. When I'm on the other side of the gun, it's like, I would want somebody to do the same shit to me. At this moment in my time, I don't, I think if it was a family member of mine, hell no. I don't feel like I would like then tell the cops all that Like who did it if I know who did it, like, you feel me? Like, same shit with like, same shit. I ain't gonna lie, like, you feel me? Like, like, even with like homies out here, like I'm just being real at the end of the day. Homies got killed out here, you feel what I'm saying? know who killed they homies. You feel what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, if if everybody felt that way to sit there and like, you know, tell a cop or whatever the case may be, sometimes that shit don't even do nothing. You feel me? Like get uh uh little tips all the time and shit like that, but that shit don't, you know what I'm saying, be masked up. You know what I'm saying? Be out of the way. Would you tell the police? Listen, uh when I was when I was a young, wild, stupid, retarded motherfucker, no, I wouldn't tell. When I was 20. I'm 30 with a kid, two kids, want them to succeed. I want to succeed, I want to leave legacy. She was going to the jail, right? Yeah, there, yeah, 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 he right here. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, 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 I see him. He just went on the corner. Yeah, he got to go to jail. What are you out here for? What are you he here for? He got to go to jail. What you're not you doing nothing productive. You're not, you're not helping society. Pe people that kill people are bombs. You know that? Because people that have stuff to do tomorrow, you got to make a deck to London. I can guarantee you not going to kill nobody in America. To London. Yeah, you feel me? Because you got something to do. People that kill you don't have nothing to do tomorrow. Yeah, and those days you don't do, man. It's a bar, bro. It's the truth. That's crazy. That's so true, though, yeah. You gotta watch out for people to say, I don't give a f I don't care about none of this. I, I ain't scared to die. You're not scared to die. You only die once. I'm not scared to die. It's gonna happen, though. You wanna do it in 10 years, 12 yeah. years, 13 years. You wanna do it tomorrow? I don't nah, cuz. Like, even the people I don't with, like, they don't wish jail on them. Bro, this guy like a little mouse. So, like, bro, what about the person who shot you? Do you reckon he should be in prison for the rest of his life? Do I think he should be in prison? I don't uh, I don't think he nah. So what 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 in your your world is justification for what he did to you? What is justice in your eyes and he if won't it's not prison? What is justice in my eyes? Don't let it happen again. I don't think it is. I don't think it that shit ain't gonna happen again, but no, so I mean, for him, bro, so what So what justice should he be doing for what he's done to you? What do you reckon? So you reckon prison's not it? What do you reckon? Yeah, prison's not, no. So what do you reckon should happen to him? Say, if he's in control so now. If he, if, he, if, he, if he got away with this then, you feel me? He got away with this just move, don't just, I just tell so, bro, me even if you saw down, the person who yeah. shot you, if you saw the person who shot you. If I saw him face to face. And you knew who it was. I knew who it was. And w w nah. would you would you would you would you go to the police? Would I go to the police? Nah, bro. I don't wish jail nobody, bro. I don't wish jail nobody, bro. Bro, that's shocking, bro. That's crazy. Obviously, to civilians, that's obviously in your world it's different, but to to me as a civilian, bro, that, that's insane, bro. So you 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 uh, send a person to jail, shot you? Bro, if someone shot me 100%. Like I'd want justice. I feel like that's fair justice. justice in the I mean, like, yeah, it is some like. Like oh, no, bro. He shot me. He'll now never see his family right. for 20 years. So to me, in my eyes, that's a level of justice. You're still alive, right? You still can see your family and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, that nigga can't see his family and shit no more after that. Yeah, yeah. You know, can call him whenever, call him certain times. Not like nigga still got family. That's and all true. This more, all this, like it's more, to, it's more than that. And say if you like, probably did, you did that. Probably did that shit by accident. You know what I'm saying I don't even know what the like. All I remember is just shots letting ring off. You feel me? I don't know who it was meant for or anything. I don't know like. It's a lot of people, I, like, I'm allowed a lot of people, so a lot of other people, like civilians, uh, civilians in the park. So he just got, he was just a wreck. But the people in the park, you feel me, everything. So you don't know who the shot's for, like, I don't, well, feel me? I'm don't sending your ass to 50 bro. years, man. Yeah, I'm in a yeah. goddamn wheelchair, got bro. Got families to feed, all that shit. You can't know feed family you... in jail. 30 like, years! Look what he's done. So does he get... Set him away! Should, should he have that right after what he's done, though? I hear what you're saying, but there's two sides to that coin. Oh, that. Give me the needle, a, let me jump him in his a, neck, man. I do it myself. Give me this. So Y'all can't get too damn long. The action is leaving you in a wheelchair, bro, so there should be a, a heavy... Get him in the neck. 
No, cause just the, that, and that little like, irony right here. Him, why the fuck nobody else can forgive him? Then if the nigga who shot me off, I can forgive him. Why the fuck nobody else can forgive him? If I say, oh, that nigga, he shouldn't be in jail. If I'm the one, he did it to me. I say he shouldn't be in jail. He shouldn't be in jail, you feel me? No, I, don't, I don't want jail on nobody, bro. You feel me? That's how I feel. That me is, personally. That's powerful, you bro. You, you might got, other people got different nah, perspectives really, and all that, but you feel me? And, it, I, and it's very interesting to hear your perspective, because obviously the situation, bro, as well. It's true. Let me tell you about my this life. This guy he can't doesn't understand dream. what he's saying. He don't want this man to go to jail and sit down and be comfortable and do all, all this stuff. You ain't stepping. You ain't too much more than the dream team. Yeah, I know. Some at a young age. We on bikes on the block. That's how it goes. They used to play a lot. But you can see it in his like, eyes, the way he laid his lips. If he saw that man right now in front of him, was looking on our shot. Now we outside with each other. Be working on our shot. He's already dead. He's probably already dead, y'all. All I got, but I cannot leave the house without my Glock. The line. They got shot a lot. Leading boxes, taking the face right off the city, he can't even make an option. Just for all that trolling on the net, we're gonna make patience out of the op die. My mom asking, but well, I don't got nothing to say about it. Might just put it in my music, just to get some paper out of it. I was calling up LS, that little nigga steady driving. I was trying to slide for us, I was trying to provide for us. Hit a block, then hit a face, we only got a nine tourists. I'm really EBK, if you ain't mine, then I slime yours. I lost my little brother to this shit, so I be saying the trench, but I've been staying away from this shit, so my still be loving this If the officer said to you they want to call a truce, that's possible. Then how would it ever end? Sitting. Sitting. They all got died. That's the only way to it. Where them all got to disappear, like. They got to all go. This joint right here do the trick. Magic wand. This too. What else? I don't think they would even. That shit got like, shark teeth. I said like, five, seven filled with blue tips. No, you, you can't, can't fight, fight this shit. I can't stop now, because I feel like I lost too much. Mm -hmm. I lost too much for me to just, to just give it all the way now. Like, I used to... Like I, I still feel like this, but I feel I feel I used to feel like all right, the way I'm too deep in this shit now. Like I'ma die here. I'm gonna go to jail for the rest of my life behind this shit, and I just gotta be content with it because like. Is that what you think as well, bro? That's what's gonna happen to you. Yeah, I feel like you live by what you die by. It's gonna happen, but it's just like I want word it to you right. It's not like if you think if you just think you gonna run around, you shoot all day, you killing. You robbing, you stealing, you doing all this dirt. Yours is gonna come back to you, and nine times out of ten is gonna come back to you. This is a dangerous man because he understands. So just he like, know his place. That's how I look at it. Oh, for 21 years old, yeah, you spit some facts, bro. And a, another question I ask in every trench is, if if the op said to you, Skrilla, let's just call a truce, how would you feel about that, and would you? Yeah, I'd be with that shit for sure, though. For sure, though. For sure, though. Yeah, that's... yeah, for sure, though. Definitely where I met, though. To where I met, though. It'll, it'll, it'll change a lot that's growing up. Like, a lot of other younger, young will change. Like, they look up to me, so they, like, that shit, like, stop the violence. Stop the violence. And uh, would you, is that something that you're advocating and promoting at the moment? I guess pushing peace? Yeah, I'm always pushing what peace, though. I'm Yo, always pushing it's peace. It's freaking flying. Pushing keeps... No, we can, we, it's like, we can stop that shit, but it all depends on how coming about it. I'm gonna like, stop swatting like, at it, because I'm starting to look crazy. Yeah, see that? And then the next the next couple months of it, that should be on again. It's like if you gonna if you gonna say that you gotta be a man about it and be serious. And bro, what would you say? Is it, it's the worst memory of your life so far at 21? Who's my friends? Who's the people that I started to like that I started to become like to become the person that I am with? Like that should take everything from you. That should make you a different person. That should make you who you are. I ain't gonna lie. That shit is scared, right? All right, look. I am. I was. I was. In my. I was sleeping, bro. Well, this is probably the worst call I ever got, bro. I was sleeping. This is probably the worst memory, bro. I was sleeping. Shall I wake up to this phone call, bro? When I get on a FaceTime, bro, it's my little cousin, like, stretched out in the camera. Oh my God, you. That's my little cousin. But he was dead on the camera on the FaceTime call. Somebody called me like, yo, this your folks. I just looking like fuck like That's deep, bro. That shit was a giant. How many people have you both lost with freaks? I lost a lot. I ain't lost a lot. I've been losing fucking generation. 
Like, I probably wasn't, I probably ain't lose, like, my homies since that time, but I've been losing my family, like, motherfuckers I really love since probably, like, 10, I'm at 09, 2010. That was my like, yeah, that was my favorite family, yeah. my, my best cousin. Yeah, sure. What would you say is the worst memory of your life? Yeah, my, uh, pop, that's it. Yeah? Yeah, my pop and shit, he passed away and shit. Okay, that was it though. What's the worst memory you have from the trenches? Worst? I got it's, it's just, Like, what you, what you mean by words? Like, what happened? What I seen? What's the yeah, crazy? Yeah. I've been something that you've never forgotten. I seen. So, what, man? I seen faces. So, why they zooming on the hands? I just seen. Choking on blood, but your faces. Yeah. I'm both. How did that affect you mentally? I just seen. Blow up in cars and shit, man. Like, this how it affect. It's like that shit. That's how it affect. This affect me like this every day, man. Like, I pray and show love. That shit, that shit did, man. Have you ever been? Have, have anyone here been shot? What? That shit don't feel good, man. That shit don't feel good. I that all bullet. That shit don't feel good, man. Forty. That shit don't feel good. Can you both fuck PTSD from living this life? Yeah, shit. I'm no, bro, I be, bro, paranoia, you like, this on me, on me, bro, this shit be on us, shit, a gamble, bro, we gamble every day, bro, every day, every day, this shit, on me, bro, dude, have you ever had therapy work before to get help? No, fuck therapy, I fuck, what am I doing? We all we need, bro, to get through this Bro, yeah, we've we been doing we it. We've been doing it since the day oh, one, shit. bro. That's how we've been oh, doing we it, bro. Did you say you have PTSD? Yeah, I feel like I do. Did you get this any help? This guy looks stressed the hell out, like, bro. Shit, this my hoe right here. <laughs> I'll be smoking this shit, smoking weed. You feel me? Rapping, rapping. You feel me? That would be like my therapy. Like, so I ain't really. That'd be my hope right bro, there. Bro, don't look like he's sleep. Shit. Bro, the fuck is like that? PTSD must be very real in these environments, bro. PTSD is real. And shit is real. And do you know what's heartbreaking? I guess you, neither of you ever get help for that either, do you? Have you ever got help for PTSD or I spoke to anyone and tried to get it sorted? No. That's wild, bro. It's like I ain't even no, no hope for that shit. I just be dealing with that shit. Dealing with that shit day by day. Would you say you're desensitized to murder? We see that shit every day. Every day. That shit is every day. Every, every day. That shit's crazy. Would you say that's affected your, I guess, your mental health to some degree? Because seem obviously that's not a normal thing to be witnessing. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not normal. I definitely think it fuck with a motherfucker mental, because, like, you know, like, at the end of the day, men and women, like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, we all walk out here, everybody from Philly, like, we all walk out here with a type of mindset already foot out the door. So it's like, everybody be in survival mode out here. You know what I'm saying? Like. And that's why they say a lot of times in Philly, like even though might not stick together, they say like if you from Philly, like if you could make it out of Philly, you can make it out of anywhere. And bro, why did you leave the streets? I know you just said now I'm a grown man 30. Well, what happened? This is what happened. This is literally what happened, right? I'm in the jail cell, 28 years old, turning 29 years old. I'm in. I'm booked for a gun. I got an 18 year old Sally. He booked for a gun. We running that then we talking about you. I hope you've never been in jail. When you in jail, them conversations in jail is eternally long. Right. You can be talking to the sun come up. When we was having one of them conversations, at the end of the conversation, you're like, eternally Dang, long. I ain't no grown ups go through that. And I'm like, I didn't even know I was a grown up. To this 18 year old, I'm a grown ass man. Not really, bro. How the I'm giving you game and I'm in the cell? You feel me? I think I'm giving you game, but I'm, what I'm giving you game to be a better criminal? I'm actually not giving you no game at all. You feel me? The real game is when you come outside, you say, oh no, this how you do this, this how you do this, my, this how you do this. My man had this. an epiphany in that's that, game, not, Oh, oh, this how you stay out there. It's what he called it. He's called it a bitch man. And fuck, that's a game. That's nothing. That's not going to make you no money. It's not going to leave no legacy. It's not going to make your mom proud. It's not going to get your mom out the hood. It's not going to do nothing. So I had to realize, oh, nigga, you a nut. You thought you was cool. You thought you was still young, nigga. This nigga's 18. You're 28, about to be 29 years old. You're grown as. It's time to act grown. Stop being a child. So, how easy it for you now to leave the streets once you're in it? 
Hey, that was really a can't lead to situation. Shout out to him, man. Win. Only way you Not many people streets. get those. Is if you get money and, and the streets always gonna follow you if you got money still. So it's always gonna Stop be don't get a chance. You can't leave the streets once you want it. Do you reckon you can jump off the streets or is it a case of now you're in it? You're in it. Just believe me, bro. Elaborate on that a little bit more. Yo, so this like, guy, uh, this guy, what the hell is in your streets, choice, Chad? Yeah. Obviously, have ops. Perks, in, of, Yerks, in your situation there, going on. I'm not sure how, obviously, how deep within the streets you are, but if, if you want to leave the streets, do you reckon you could just get away and just leave? Or do you reckon you, you'll always have a target on your back? I would have to leave the city. I can't just I can't just leave and still be here because it's where I did everything. That it'll be my time to have to go. And and Joe, what's the plan to get out? The plan to get out is the <laughs> plan from the start. Like I don't like like I feel like growing up in Philly, everybody always had a thought like we gotta get the <laughs> out. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like for real, for real. My plan, you know what I'm saying? Like I know I'm gonna do everything in my power to, you know what I'm saying? Like actually get. Out of Philly, I'll always be traveling anyway. You dig what I'm saying? Like, I love getting out of Philly. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not just here, but it's like, like, for a lot of people, they ain't even get the chance to do that. Shit. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, I don't know, man. I'd rather stay out of Philly than be here, though. And, bro, what's your plan? Do you want to leave this environment, like this kind of a, the trenches of the hood, so to speak? You say? Would you want to leave the trenches on the I hood? I want to leave. Yeah, I go a lot. Uh, like get houses and shit, like different places. Yeah, I definitely want to move out the city. You feel me? Get different houses out the city, different out. Hey, Paul, if you had one wish, what would that be? One wish. <laughs> bring all my <laughs> back. No cap. Get right here. I feel like if I don't make it out this shit, I'm gonna be like any I'll other. To get out the wheelchair. Philly, I feel like I'm gonna be a nut ass. Sh like I feel like. Like gonna see what? me later from like third. If I if I if it's I don't make it, he was me say 10, that. 15 years from now, you're gonna see me like, yo, that's Mr. Gonna be a oomph out here. I'm not trying to be one of them. Yeah, I'm not. No, I got be when they see me 10, 15 years from now. I got have more Cubans on and more cars and more holes. Feel me like it's like I ain't. I got goals and like I ain't gonna lie. I got some. I got comp. So I get my dupes. I gotta get my mom out the hood. Feel me. Like that. What would you say to the next generation who are jumping off the porch? What would your advice be to that generation? Um, man, don't eliminate yourself, man. You, you eliminate yourself, man, by taking away from taking yourself away from your family, the world. I mean, all the opportunities that they're giving dudes a day, man. They wasn't giving it to us 20 years ago, 15 years ago, you know? So, so every time you make a move, you better look both ways before you cross the street. Yeah, like, so now that's, that's how, how bad it's getting. That's right how now. bad it's getting, but, right. but don't eliminate yourself because they building more and more jails every single day. They, they, have, a, they have a bed for every single one. Of, it's like they building, they preparing for no, our youngest. I mean, there's you know, 27 prisons right now. I mean, speak. and they build it and, and count it. So, you know, don't eliminate yourself. They got the space for you. They want, you know, it's very, very easy to get in. Very, 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 very difficult to get out. Um, and uh, you try to stay as close to your family, man, because they don't the ones that go, that count. Stay out the streets. If you're not in it, don't do it, because it's not worth it. I'm just saying it's this not, for like the month. If you ain't watching, in it, like, stay like, out, it, it ain't so worth it. Like, uh, like you, uh, probably, bro. you probably did some shit before. You might it might feel good on the other side of the trigger, but when you on that other side, that shit ain't good. It it's like I want motherfuckers to know that. So like as a kid, rocks and pebbles, y'all. Yeah. This shit cool, and it might feel mm -hmm. good to go shoot at somebody, but when you get shot at, that shit don't feel good, basically. And before we finish, Joe, it feels good to shoot at someone. When you get shot at, yeah. it doesn't feel good. Stay in school to the kids, man. Remember you that, mean? kids. Words to live by for real. Get some money on, you feel me? And make sure and get you take care your family, man. For real. That's it. And watch the motherfuckers you keep around you, because everybody ain't your friend, you hear me? And everybody that you think is cool as shit with you, that you don't do it with sandbox and all that, you feel me? No, ain't always a hundred either, you feel me? And you, as you grow, you feel me? Your circle get, you know what I mean? Small. Take that shit out of it. brother. If you want to jump off, I promise you, you can. You might die the same night. I don't know if y'all know that. You, if you jump the course, you can die tonight. Night. Yo, you know, they can spend tonight. Put that ass on the ground. Yeah, 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 you can get locked up the rest of your life tonight.
15, 16 charges of a devil. Podcast away for the rest of your life. You can do you it. Can jump off the porch. Cool. <laughs> my dad is same night.